Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumin's Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope that you're doing well. So we are actually in this huge push right now, and it has a lot to do with um, a lot of Venus energy, a lot of cosmic energy for star seeds. Do you feel like you're a seed? Are you a seed? What do you have seeded in you? Uh, yes, you're a star seed. You're an indigo or you are a rainbow. And this includes your star origins, which you may not remember. However, the topic of this video is about the inner child and past childhoods. And I might add to that the lost childhoods. There's a lot of things that have happened at the cosmic level that haven't been so friendly, and they have not been friendly to children. And those patterns have continued here on Earth. And, you know, no matter what anyone says about, well, this is like woo-woo sci-fi stuff, you know, there's good guys and bad guys, we're ending a lot of the bad guy stuff because nobody who's ever been uh, subjected to things actually will uh, be able to go back far enough to see where did that actually, where was the straw that broke the camel's back? And there have been a lot of things happening. So to give you an example, um, just in my area here, there was a murder with a sword. Someone murdered his own mother with a sword. And uh, there was also a, um, there were about four break-ins that the they think he had to do with people just doing a quick smash and grab for drug money because it had those signs. And these are some of the indicators of what tends to come out of the collective when it's time to start healing it and fixing it. Now, I know sometimes people like to go, la, 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 I'm going to stay in my, you know, beautiful little thing here. But the past and your ancestry is going to well up whether or not you like it or not. So if you have clogged up chakras, if you have blockages, if you have a sense that there's something, um, you might want to hear what it is that, you know, I'm talking about in this video. So when it comes to past childhoods, I remember this line I heard from a book. And the book was called Bride's Head Revisited. But there's a line in there that I think kind of points to the sins of the parents. Sins of the parents, how far back do we go? Well, this is going back to ancient times, not just your immediate family. Ancient, ancient stuff. That's why it's hard. That's why it can't just be eliminated just through talking about it. You talk about it. You got to involve your light body. You have to engage your twin flame body. You may not know how to do that. I know how to do that. And I'm here to help with that because it needs to be removed from levels that go pretty far back. What about it though? So this line in this uh, book says, it's when one gets to the parents that a bottomless pit opens. My dear, such a pair. Okay. And this has been the case with a lot of people's marriages. It's either two people getting together, they don't like each other, they have to produce an heir, and you may have been some of those children. It may be two people that were arranged into a marriage, and it's part of the marital duty to produce children or to consummate the marriage. And there's no love there, there's no passion. We're talking about the regaining of your own personal high-level passion here. So I don't want to get too lost in the pains and the sins of the past. What belongs to you should come back to you. And how you really are supposed to live and feel about yourself is pretty light and lovely. It's not supposed to make you feel as though you have these things. Past and current life, do you feel abandonment? Well, that's happened quite a bit. That has happened actually when children have had to be left behind or you have children of war. You have rejection. People have not only rejected their children, they've murdered them. They have uh, decided that somehow that child doesn't fit or it doesn't look right or it, there's some defect or something. 
or they've been advised to make that child a sacrifice. Make that child your sacrificial lamb. And sometimes there is someone who is that person in the family. They're always the one in trouble. They're always the black sheep of the family. They're always somehow the one that gets punished. And what happens when people, when they take abuse, they toughen up against it. And pretty soon they can't feel. And when they do feel, they want to look for some place to put it. And this has been a vicious cycle. What else has happened? Shunning, deprivation, no touch or true affection. I once read this uh, about this study that one of the Russian czars had done where he took a lot of babies and they fed the babies, but they gave them no nurturing touch. They didn't play with the babies. They didn't uh, rub their skin. They showed no affection to the babies. And little by little, those babies did not thrive. And so to a degree, when you have people that their past childhood stuff is coming up, you have people that are failing to thrive somehow. They can't because they, there's a part of them that is stunted. There's a part of them that needs to expand and grow and open and mature. Like mature like a ripe fruit, not mature with wisdom. But that does come because you draw your wisdom in from a higher place. So love heals the star seeds, the indigos. Let's talk a little bit about family of origin. Is your family of origin, have you been born into it? What have you been born into? Have you been born into a family of thugs, of drugs, of alcohol, of booze, of smoke, of abuse? Okay, those are all abuse in terms of childhood. Even animals. Animals that live in the house where this stuff is happening, they feel it too. So, you know, children are no different. Children learn what their environment is, and they may be coming in to fulfill their karma. You might be one of those kids that has had a bucket of stuff that you just didn't really even want. Okay? Now, what if you meet someone? What if you meet a soulmate? And all your fear issues come vibing towards you, okay? And you look at them and you're like, well, they look pretty good, okay? This is what you wind up with. And I, I'm going to use this as a demonstration. I was peeling a potato, brand new crop, brand new bag. This is how it started off. I got it all peeled. When I opened it up, this is what was inside. <laughs> I mean, you can't make this stuff up. It was some kind of a weird fungally thing, and, you know, this sat for days, so it already started oxidizing. Or you can get something that looks very nice on the inside, and it's all desiccated. It's got nothing inside. There's no support there. There's nothing propping it up, and that person is looking for you to support them, prop them up, heal them, fix them, enable them, babysit them, okay? And this is where it starts to get weird. And this is why some people have been separated. There are really deep-seated issues. There are deep patterns. And your ancestry plays a part. It's not just your ancestry. It has been what is your ethnicity? What is your ethnic pain body? What is that indicating? Because there are things that have happened to people as an individual and also as a group, entire groups have been kidnapped and pressed into service somewhere. Kidnapping, pillaged, what kind of childhood? And what about the sins of the parents? How many people are someone's love child? Do you know if you are your parent's love child? But what if you're not the love child? What if you are the product of something else? Or what if your twin flame is? Okay. This is where it gets really deep and really confusing for people because people start scratching their head and say, I'm looking at someone, I'm not sure I can make a dent. There's a lot of stuff there. There's disloyalty, there's cheating. There's, uh, uh, they have abandonment issues, but so do I. I mean, uh, this is insurmountable. How do I fix it? And so I have a little demonstration here. You can have... Someone who was a parent back in the day, or he may not even have known he was a parent. He may have been stationed somewhere. 
okay? And his son comes to him, and he's saying, son, you'll never know what I went through, what I sacrificed. Dad, you sound like a murderer. Let's go to the beach. I made that beach free for you. It's because of me that you're unable to join the freedoms that you're enjoying right now. Dad, that's ancient history. You have to live in the now. No, son, you have to know there are good guys and there's bad guys. I'm one of the good guys. Uh, but dad, didn't you have to go places and do stuff? Yes, I did. Um, that's a little mixed up. That's a little messed up, dad. You'll never understand because you weren't there. I know. I can feel it sometimes. It's like you're giving me a flashback. Well, I have flashbacks too. And you see these things run in the family. But unless he clears it and focuses on it, the next person that he meets is probably going to get a dose of the ancestral patterns that are there. Okay? His father may not beat him up. His father has fought in ancient wars somewhere, someplace, long ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Okay? He had this great adventure and made things safe. Okay, things are safe now. But now we have the time and the luxury of our emotions. This man did not have the luxury of addressing his emotions. It's hitting him all years later, years, years later. And he starts to remember and he says, you know what? I do remember. I remember there was a lovely brown-eyed lady that I met in a long ago far away place. I still wonder what happened to her. I still see her in my dreams. Where is she? How is she? What happened to us? Okay. And what may have happened is, here's your long lost progeny from long ago, and your blood runs in there. And your blood runs in him. And your blood runs in many people. And this is how it is. We've all been intermingled. Whether we like to or not, we incarnate into a situation to help us yank out whatever is undesirable, whatever is unwanted, whatever needs to change that suddenly we can see and sense and feel. So, what about what is on the inside? Okay, this is why on this journey, this becomes sort of an inside job. It's not the inside the heart, I wish, I want. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. That is true. But I'm going to tell you this from a twin flame perspective. You are each other's homes. Your bodies are not intended to house any of the negative things, any of the grief, the sadness, the traumas, the angers, the corruptions, the things that have happened to you. So while these two parents may have had love between them, they had to go their ways. What were the things that they had to go through? You will not have to go through those things. There is a way to speed this up and there is a way to expedite it and remove these things. Abandonment, rejection, abuses, being shunned, being deprived, being deprived and neglected somehow. How many of you are in a state where you actually need some physical touch? You're like starving for it. Or how many of you just feel, you know, as though there's something about if you were only touched the right way, you could what? You could do what? You could do a lot of things. You can move mountains. You can move and budge the other person that you're connected to. And you can begin to come closer and closer and closer and take off the stains of the past and just completely get rid of it and begin to take off the armor and the blockages 
and begin to feel the love that once existed and never really went away, but is there in the layers and layers and layers. Layers of history does not have to be daunting. So when I do my psyche session, we do go over things such as past lives. What do you do? And I am able to address the deep and the cosmic. So a lot of people assume that because of what they're taught, history only goes back maybe 2,000 years, depending if they're taught that way. Maybe about 5,000 years, if they've seen some of it from ancient Egypt. We get it at the cosmic level, because this is where some of it has started. These are the things that have disrupted or caused a wound to someone's psyche. And a psyche is what you share with your true love. That is the deepest way that you send emotional energy to each other. Deep love, deep passion. So this gets distorted sometimes because you could take someone such as this gentleman where he has used his love, his patriotism to go fight for maybe what was necessary at the time and defend. So a lot of times the armor, the weaponry, but all the king's horses and all the king's men cannot put him back together again the same way that love can. Love is what heals. The love of his good lover, whether that is straight, gay, hetero, it doesn't matter. Trans, it doesn't matter. Love is what heals. Love heals the star seeds because love supersedes everything. It will supersede hexes spells, potions, negative energy, weird weird things that have to do with love and sex, like the things that just don't even make sense anymore. All these patterns, patterns of relationships, being punished by your lover, withholding affection, withholding contact, playing hard to get. I mean, this is just, the stuff just doesn't fly. And when it comes to twin flames, we rip it apart. It just doesn't work. You can't sustain it. It becomes absurd. It becomes laughable. And it becomes not possible anymore. What does become possible is getting to be real and loyal and committed and functional, and present. Okay, how many of you have had someone that you just don't even sense they're present? Or just add some drugs and alcohol to that, and no matter what kind it is, okay, no matter how someone justifies it, there's some kind of difference when someone has that stuff. And sometimes you can see that in a relationship or in a marriage. Now, we also have the holidays coming up here. And I'm going to be starting a special uh, webinar series to help you with some of your healing and navigating and your metabolism throughout the holidays. So watch for the link below. If you would like to have a Psyche session, okay, my Psyche Subtle Body Session, I do this in person in Chicago. We take about an hour. I use my table, which you can see back there. That's my table. I do it also over the internet. I have quite a line of webinars and I can make recommendations for you. So we're very comprehensive. I am very comprehensive. And I believe in addressing not just one of you, but both of you. That's the difference between twin flame healing and when you go seeking, you know, willy-nilly here, you're going to try this, you're going to try that, you're going to try that. Try the twin flame healing because when you go to some other people, they may not have been activated yet and they may not realize that there is another person who can and will affect your energy unless we get it moved and shifted. If you have been having tension, tension around your rib cage, like someone pulled a belt around you, tightness here, sniffles up here, weird dreams, headaches, um, 
aches in your joint, like your hip, your elbow, your hands, okay, this is a good session for you to have. If you know especially that you have been subjected to some kind of abuse or trauma, we're past the point where some ways of doing it would say, forgive your attacker, okay? I'm way past that. I'm at the point where it's like saying, you know what? We dished it out. We got it back. It's gone in a cycle. It's a vicious cycle now. Let's just get rid of it. Let's remove it entirely. And that's what I am all about. Let's get it removed. Depending how deep it is, this does require several sessions. And during that time, you will feel lightened up, and I give you some instructions to do. So, I have, um, I have a uh, little other story about the sins of the parents, okay? Sometimes people don't really think what they're doing in the moment. Your parents may not have thought about it. They are the product of their generation. Almost every generation on earth has been through a famine or poverty or war. Many Europeans and Americans are the products of either an economic depression or and or war, war mentalities, okay? These are the things, but it's what's happened during that. So you can look back to the 50s. If you look at 1950s American films, you have sort of this you know, glossing over of all the traumas. A lot of the GIs were really glad to just get home, have their perfect little family, have their wife in the kitchen, have their kids. Okay, and that's the majority of people. And if they were gay, they had their even other hidden little life, the other things that they were hiding. And all these things um, still come up because we're still addressing you know, all the things that happened in Europe while people were trying to rebuild. We're still addressing all of the things that have happened in the United States while we are rebuilding, even as it's looking like there's, there's you know, things breaking out again, okay? It's time to collapse these old things with love, with sometimes humor if you can, with a sense that there is a future, you are the people that are aware that you have a future because even if you are not with your person, you know about it. Other people don't. Other people look at their lives and they just think it's going to hit some dead end and they die. They're waiting for death sometimes. Some people are like that. I'm waiting for death. I just go to work. I live. I do, I do what my family requires of me. They're not open and activated. Okay? You are... You have a sense of the privilege of why are you here and why, why are we here to heal this? Because now we can. That door opened up in 2018 at the Lions Gate. We're now one year past that Lions Gate and 2020 is the year of the human angelic. Watch and see it. And you're going to see people around you waking up and snapping to and going through their ascension symptoms. Get yourself, get proper self-care for yourself, and get ready. Get to know about this because this is important. This is not, I am not teaching the stuff that you're going to find in an astrology thing. I am not telling you about stuff that you're going to uh, find in, you know, uh, this or that. We're putting it together because we're putting the lovers back together. Two by two, two by two, two by two. And it's time to clean up your part or what he has affected you in the past. So be a part of your own future now in the present moment and reach out. I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you very much. Bye.